been saying for a while now that we're going to try to get me and Steven together in one video. Well, guess what? We got her done. Stick around. here that's super hot here and plus i'm sitting inside my truck right now so <laughs> doesn't look like it but right <laughs> yeah no pump man i got so i got the gopro the other day and i've been trying to find a battery i have one battery i'm trying to find another battery whatever um i can't it's got a ton of accessories what else? i got everything i think of uh, plus a new pack so I'm ready to roll. Yeah, I'm uh, curious to see your new pack. That thing's got to be huge. And you know, you, I don't know. I haven't put anything in it, but it looks exactly like the pack I already have. It just says it's 10 liters bigger. So huh. it'll. I think it'll be nice because I won't have to have a dry bag on the outside. Yeah. I can put it on the inside. You know. So. Yeah, it doesn't sure. feel it doesn't feel any bigger. So it actually fits better than the other pack. So, oh, nice. Kind of weird, but I don't know. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. I just I can't believe we're actually gonna, I, we're going to get at least two twelve thousand footers in. Yes. Like, if we can get three, I just I didn't care. I just want to be out there. Right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so. way, I, way I see it, we get I, Mount Rear Guard, that breaks our 12,000 feet right there. And exactly. after that, it's all icing on the cake. So, you know. Definitely. <clears throat> and we won't wear a mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, anyways. So. Uh, so I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna leave here Saturday. Get there Saturday afternoon. So, okay. yeah, then, I'm. Uh, I switch. So I'm working the morning shift on Sunday. I'll be done with that at eleven. Okay. Swing in the house by the house here and um, make double check. Make sure I have everything. I'm not forgetting my trail mix again. All right. <laughs> Uh, and then, um, my plan is to get beheaded down there by noon at the latest quarter two. Sure. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah. So I got, uh, I dehydrated a pound of elk and a pound of bear sausage. So, uh, I'm going to split that with you when I see you. So. That's, that's awesome. That's yeah, so you, you can add it to whatever you want. Right. So, so. Nice. Oh, yeah. So I'm just pumped, dude. And I really feel, um, getting back to oh, um, I think God's at work here in the midst of all this chaos, like usual. Um, I, I, I think, and oh my goodness, oh, <laughs> one of the joys of doing this on your phone, you get little alerts from other things. So, yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to order Domino's here as soon as we get off the phone, but Domino's keeps sending me messages. So. <laughs> <laughs> we made Wednesday night Domino's night, so, like, we can just, we don't have to fool with dinner when we get home because we can just eat and just, then just go to church, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, Wednesday after lunch, I text the family. I'm like, what does everybody want from Domino's so I can bring it home? So, <laughs> <laughs> so back to uh the plan i just feel like you and i i know we've been trying to or maybe trying to do something together and i just maybe things are starting to come together with this big thing when we do this big hike i feel like maybe we should start like like a a christian climbing club or something you know and uh 
Yeah, and what keeps rolling around my head is like we we would call it like climbers for Christ, yeah. and uh, we would you know take people out on hikes and do YouTube stuff and information videos and and uh, stuff like that, and we could go get our wilderness first aid and learn how to alpine climb and all that good stuff. So mm-hmm. that's like the whole. I mean, there's more to it, but I just right and just do it for do it for God because a lot of these I, there's a lot of I think there's a lot of people out there that would uh go for this. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't know. I I just I feel like that's what I'm being called to, and um maybe maybe you are too. I kind of hope so. I feel like I don't. I kind of need you, or maybe we need each other. You know. Cause you're way more techy than I am, <laughs> and uh, I haven't got a clue. So I just push the buttons on the phone and make it go. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just feel like I'm wasting my talent for my God, really what God's given me. So you know, I started this whole way outside thing, and it just kind of keeps. It's still moving forward. It's slow. It's just like, well, you do this, do this, and then. Um, I kind of bottomed out like a, oh, a month, six weeks ago. And uh, one of my best friends is a pastor. And I just like, I don't know, I, I guess emotionally jumped on him. Mm-hmm. Kind of emotionally let him have it, I guess. And uh, it felt good. It just, we said a lot of stuff to each other that needed to be said. And, uh, he said to me in the end, he's like, you know, because I've been I've been gone for months, dude. I've been home for like maybe two months out of the entire year mm-hmm. so far, and uh, and that was a heavy load. And he's like, you know what? He's like, I'm. He's like, not that you need my permission. He's like, I'm giving you permission to like just stop doing way outside stuff. And just like I felt like a ton of bricks have just been instantly lifted off me, and. Uh, then it kind of cleared the air and cleared the air way for this climbing thing. I said it to my wife. My wife kind of, she was all for it. She kind of, she had some other ideas. I wish like we had had a phone call then. We, I wish I could have called you on it because it's pretty late, but then you were probably working. <laughs> but uh, what she said, she kind of confirmed everything that I had been talking about. And it was just nice. And I just, I really feel like I'm on the right path right now. Right, right. You know. So I mean, it's taken forty-three years to get here. So <laughs> come slow, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I've had to, yeah. Worked on my. I've been working on myself a lot lately. Past few months, past few yeah. weeks, particularly. And trying to work on my attitude because I just, I just headed downhill, dude. I haven't been home. Society's gone to Haiti. Or you got to just. It's just, you know, the snowball effect in there. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I take a good look at myself and where my life is headed. And so I was coming home. I was barely home on the weekends, just long enough to do laundry. And, I mean, I wasn't even nice to anybody. I just frustrated and mad. And it was bad. Yeah. I was like, so just had to have a big fat reality check. And um, just, I, I guess I needed to just quit. I needed to just stop. And let God be in control and instead of me trying to do big things with the way outside or just trying to whatever. Mm-hmm. And just sit back and be like, all right, what do you want me to do? And my heart and my passion is, you know, for climbing, hiking, and Christ. Obviously Christ first. And then uh yeah, so that's I just don't care anymore. I mean, this is it. Well, what are you gonna do? Just let's just. I just want to do it, and I don't. Whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. So that's what's been on my mind and in my heart lately. Just, I just have a good feeling. I just, just getting out there next week is going to be amazing. It's really going to help me clear the air and clear my head. And um, too many things have fallen into place for this not to be right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? got to yeah. be the right thing so i'm just pumped so, yeah yeah i'm excited yeah yeah I, I, and 
Because I've really been nudged, I guess you'd say, um, towards like, and I haven't thought any further than just what it is, because I mean, the logistics in this is going to probably be a nightmare, but um trying to figure out a way to help people that have some sort of physical limitation to being able to get out. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I don't know what that would even look like to be able to help somebody that has a hard time walking to be able to help them to hike or experience on some level that outdoors, you know, And, you know, just like you were saying about doing the, the um, uh, whatever you would call it, climbing for Christ or whatever, that that's exactly where I've been for a, quite a while now is, is doing something, you know, like I pictured, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the guy now, but he, um, he did uh, church services on top of a mountain. You know, they would hike to the top of the mountain and have a church service, you know, that kind of thing. And so that's kind of what I had pictured, you know, and not necessarily, yeah, because if you, you start getting into like terminology and you start calling it a men's retreat or, you know, something like that, and that kind of automatically limits it to just Christians, you know, even if it's just mental. And I don't think that's what we're really talking about here. I think we're more or less talking about an outreach type of a thing rather than, you know, or I should say it's a combination of the two. It's not one or the other. It's a combination. You know, we're, we're not going to um i guess limit it to just christians or just non-christians you know it's because you want a mixture of those two in that kind of setting you know with that that's where you get your good um uh discipleship opportunities i guess yeah But yeah, that's just kind of been my, where my thoughts have gone quite often here lately, just because of, you know, I have a friend out in Wisconsin that he's, he has a really hard time walking and stuff like that. And, um, you know, to be able to give him the opportunity to, to experience some of the stuff that we experience, it may not be on the same level as what, you know, Obviously, you're probably not going to get them to Black Canyon Lake or anything like that, but <laughs> <laughs> um, so and I don't know, I don't know what that would really look like, so that's just something to ponder on, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, just to make it just like Christian, I mean, just to have like. I mean, you gotta have, like you said, you gotta have a mixed crowd. Yeah, I mean, because you're not gonna reach anybody if you're just preaching to the same people all the time. Right. right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that would be the goal. I mean, you and I have the same goal to reach people that aren't. You know, aren't believers. Right. So. Yeah. And to do it through an outdoorsy thing would be. I mean, who doesn't want to climb around the Beartooth Mountains? It's unbelievable. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or any mountain, for that matter. Right. But yeah, and I like, you know, trying to get people that can't, that aren't super mobile, get them out there somehow, some way. Yeah, I think that would have, that would have a huge effect on people. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Yeah. So, no, uh, yeah, um, I like it, you know. And part of me is we still recording this? Yeah, I'm recording. I'm I'm just recording in Zoom. I'm not recording in another program. Program, but okay. Part of me really wants to move back to Red Lodge because that would be. I mean, the miles over here are great, but, you know. But it's not like I mean, if I live there in Red Lodge, I could like hit the mountains like every day or mm. every weekend, or you know what I mean? Right. And we could just make things happen. So. And I'm tired of being so far away from, like, all my super cool buddies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, because, honestly, that's probably the biggest hurdle that, you know, me and you have of doing more stuff like this together is we're just so far away that, you know, I mean, when you're, when you're talking eight-hour drive time one way, yeah. You know, cutting that down to two would definitely, you know. Oh, that, that would change everything. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, on my end, it would save me. me you, you wouldn't even know how much money that would save me. <laughs> 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 so, but, I mean, it's not, you know, it is what it is for now, but. Right. Yeah. But now I'm just excited that I feel like I really have a direction and you I feel like you have a direction and I'm hoping our directions are like this. Right, right. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, yeah, because we can totally benefit from each other. You can do things I can't even, I, I can't do. And, yeah. Just so. it, there's yes, like it, you you have the uh, the the gear knowledge that I don't have. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, Plus the experience of just being out there right. more so than I do. You know, the, our hikes, that's the only time I ever really, really get out. I got you. But yeah, you're right. We, it's, you know, you play off of each other's strengths and you that eliminates each other's weaknesses and so yeah I, it's I, I don't want to like oh that's gonna be big and then it not be big but it feels like it's gonna be you know what I mean <laughs> you know I hear you yeah I mean I learned that with the way outside it's just like I mean it's still there and, you know, I had all these hopes and dreams and uh, the original person that helped me, oh, that helped me, I guess, and set me up with this idea, you know, kind of blew it up pretty big too. But in reality, it's not about you and it's not about how big you can make it. It's all about what God wants it to be and it's on his time and there's nothing you can do about it. You just need to suck it up and follow along, you know. Right. So, and I'm, and I, yeah, I've, I've had to learn that lesson, and yeah, it's now I'm just following where he wants to go, you know. So, and it's a good feeling. It's a really nice feeling. It's like no pressure. Yeah. Right. Right. And that's yeah. That's huge. I mean, you, he takes all that pressure and, you know, that leaves you, like, free. I mean, um, 
Yeah, you're like free to actually listen to what he has to say. Right. Because right. there's no, there's no, there's no more, there's no people like hounding you, like, oh, what's your next event? What's your next event? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You, gonna do? Like, you know what? I, I don't know. You know what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm done doing stuff. Done. I, you know, whatever God wants to happen will happen. You know. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, if there's, you know, a disabled person in some shape or form that we need to take hiking, well, we're going to take them hiking somehow. It'll work. Right. We don't know. You know, but I mean, if, I've tried to I've gone that route, trying to do big things and make it huge. And, you know, you just all of a sudden God gets shoved to the back of the cupboard. You know, and it's all about yeah. how big can you, no, not anymore. No more. So that ship has failed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I said, it's a, it's a huge relief. I mean, there's just still responsibility. Yeah, there's, oh, yeah. you know, but, uh, yeah. So, but it's all about his time and what he wants you to do. You just got to take yourself out of the situation and put God back in the situation, put him back up front, you know. So, right. Yeah, and that's, that's yeah. the key to it right there. As long as he stays up in front where he's supposed to be. You, yeah, you, you can't fail. Doesn't matter if you're just a little, little bitty organization, or if God takes you bigger and better places, or whatever. Yeah, it's all that stuff becomes secondary, and you don't have to spend any more time worrying about how big you are or how how big of an event you can put on or whatever. Yeah, that's what I liked about when we went to Berkeley. Because no matter how great we think we are <laughs> at our jobs or doing whatever, running our mile on Facebook, we get out there, we're the most insignificant thing <laughs> on the planet because people don't even know. I mean, if you've never been out there, I mean, you have no idea how grand the scale of things are out there. It is. It still makes my head hurt. Because I show my wife on the map, but like, where we went and I'm like, we were here, you know, in this particular spot, like when we were around Grasshopper Glacier. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, we still could not see around this bend. And I've been wanting to see around this bend for the past 365 days. <laughs> and I'm hoping I can get a bird's eye view from up there. Cause I'm like, hey, you have no idea. I'm like, there's boulders we crossed that are bigger than our house. It's insane. Mm -hmm. and you just cannot wrap your head around it. So I'm yep. just like, so I love being out there. Cause I'm just like, I'm a nobody out here. Nobody knows who I am. No one cares. There's no one out there except you. Yep, <laughs> and it's right. like, we don't care. I mean, if you <laughs> want to talk about learning how to trust God, go hang out in the bear trees for a week. Right. You know? So, Absolutely. Yeah, it'll change your life. Yep. So, yep, it most certainly will. Life. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, like you said, man, I, like you, I was showing my grandparents, uh, my grandpa particularly, where we were at and and uh that whole loop that we did around over the top of thunder mountain and all that and so i, I zoomed in as close as google earth would zoom in right. and i point i said you know that boulder right there it looks like it's that big that's bigger than your house <laughs> yeah. yeah i showed my wife that uh boulder field we had to walk to i'm like on the map even when we measured it, it doesn't look that big. It's like a mile and a half long. That is no joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, you guys crawled through that. I'm like, yeah, like pack. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes literally crawled. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, yeah, it really puts your life in perspective when you're out there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, yeah. yeah. I'm like, what's really important. So. Yeah. yeah. For sure. And I, I'm really excited for this year, getting to see some new country. And Me too. Yeah. Me too. I've never – I mean, we, we hit 11.5 last year, but I'm like, we've never, like – and we were up and then we were down. So, I mean, but to operate at, like, 10.5 for, like, six days, it's going to be maybe yeah. a challenge, I think. Yeah. So, 10.5 and higher. So, it's, it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be slow paced. I know that because yeah. I've, I've run around at 10, 5 and 11,000 feet, you know, I've, I've run at 11,000 feet and it's 
it sucks. You want to talk about being worn out? I've literally run in eleven thousand feet. And it's miserable. <laughs> but uh, just, yeah, I'm just pumped to be. I think it's really gonna change my perspective even more to be that high for that long. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. My goal. I think once we hit like twelve, I think our our goal next year. Should be able to find a place that's like 13, and then the year after that, find a place that's 14. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where a wise will think of that, but <laughs> <You're> right, <laughs> I don't know. No, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be awesome, yeah. Yeah, uh, so. I don't know where it is, how it is where you're at, but it is so hot and humid here, you can cut the air with a knife. It, it is sticky. It is sticky here. Yeah, it's just, we were outside earlier today messing around in the garden and, yeah, dripping sweat and it just nasty. Yeah. Yep. Another reason I'm looking forward to going is to get, out, get up into the land of the cool. No kidding. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, I got a couple new things. I just went, ran into, I, or, or, I can't even talk. REI, <laughs> and uh, I've been sucking it up and having to wear the mask because, like, I need things. Because right. I try to order stuff online now, I pick it up curbside, or just have it shipped to the house. And uh, oh, that's the job to have right now, by the way. Is you're like a UPS driver. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, I'm like, I need stuff because I'm leaving, you know, Saturday morning. So I couldn't find my map that I've had for the past few years. Better buy a new one of those. But I also came across. These rascals are called Nun. I don't know if you see it. Uh, my camera's being funny. <laughs> Anyways, it, it must be that one. Works. <laughs> I don't know. This one's blue, but the other one was green. There it is. Ta da! Uh -huh. Anyways, they're, uh, they're electrolyte tablets. Oh. You just drop them in your drink and whoosh, down the hatch. So nice. there's 10 in each, so I figured, um, yeah, I thought we could split them and try them. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Man, electrolytes, that's, uh, that's kind of important when you're exerting yourself. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, because there's, no be, there's not going to be a pantry full of Ritz crackers out there. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love Ritz crackers when it's hot. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> So, yeah. So. Uh, um, that buddy of mine, he gave me, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, it's another MSR. Uh, it's a uh, Mio X, I think it's called. Yeah. And it, it's a, uh, a water purifier. And oh. It's a little pen. I don't know. Six inches long, maybe. Yeah. It, it's a little different because it doesn't really filter and it uses the, the water that you're going to purify, it uses that and rock salt. And then it, it basically runs an electric current through the, the uh, salty water. Yeah. And it basically makes like a, like a bleach like substance. Huh. And then you pour that in your water and it's supposed to kill everything really yeah so i don't know i haven't really messed around with it and seems as it doesn't really filter i mean yeah so any of your little sediment or whatever is still going to be there but oh yeah 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 i think i would just stick to my you know the pump thing yeah yeah i i, I yeah. think i'm gonna bring it along just because it's so small and there's no weight to it and maybe mess around oh. with it a little bit, but sure. I don't know. As far as a primary water filter or water purification thing, I don't know about that, but. Right. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. So I think the one thing I might bring is like some fleece. Oh, it's like, an, it's like a base layer. Mm -hmm. Like to fleece it because I don't know how cold it gets at night at that height. Right. So, not that I would freeze because I get a zero bag, but 
don't yeah, know. But <laughs> there's no, there's going to be no real shelter to speak of up there. So I, I don't want to freeze, you know, get yeah. froze out some night or the snow is during the day or something up there. Yeah. And I have to imagine that the mornings are probably fairly cool up there too, you know, before the sun starts yeah. really getting up there. So, oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, I've, I've been looking around trying to decide what I have that's light enough and I can compact enough to get in the bag to, for a kind of a base layer like that too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what the problem is society is right now? Like, there's no place to run in and use the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's my biggest problem with today. <laughs> I know it's completely out of base, off subject. But <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I, think, I think if if anybody were to ever go hiking with us, they would know that that's kind of our MO. <laughs> <laughs> like a Google search engine being run by a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was just given a full pot of coffee and a Red Bull. <laughs> yes, that's how my brain works. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's hilarious. Ooh. So, I think that's all I know. I'm really excited to use GoPro and uh, maybe do, we can get in a little preaching from the mountaintops or at least have some uh, moral enhancing conversations that may enlighten someone. Yes, I, I'm glad yeah. you said that because I have, um, that's really been on my mind here lately, um, mm -hmm. doing uh like you said having like a uh some more um i guess enlightened would be the best word to i could come up with uh conversations on you know for different things and um, also maybe even doing some some uh singing up there too i've been really really thinking about that uh, yeah that'd be super cool having some lyrics and stuff just kind of on my phone and the whatnot ready to go and yeah i need to dig around and see if i have a tiny tiny bible in my house i can pack along yeah i know i've been looking because i don't want to i don't want to like um, I mean, obviously, we would bring our phones, and obviously, they're not going to work, but I don't want to burn up all the battery life in our phones. So, you know, yeah. just in case we want to take pictures or by some weird thing, we can, yeah, or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know you can get those little pocket New Testaments. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe yeah. I'll just download a bunch of stuff and screenshots and stuff, and I can just pull it up later when we're out there. Yeah, that's 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 that's, that's another option idea. too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that would save on battery life and yeah, pack space too. Yeah, pack space. That's precious real estate. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm excited, man. Yes, so am I. I did, I finally had to stop looking at my countdown because it was just. It's only been ten minutes. What? <laughs> ten minutes. So, yeah, because I I look at my countdown, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's. It's been a while since I've looked at it. No, it's only been 10 minutes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. I look at the map almost every night. So. Yes. Last night I figured out how to get it on my uh, uh, computer. So I had a 27-inch screen. I was just like freaking out. Like, <laughs> oh, I, guess, 
my wife's like, you need to go to bed. It's 10 o'clock. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I'm pumped. So. Super excited, man. Yes. Can't wait to get there. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember if I told you or not. I got um, that. Uh, that other GPS I got, it was, I got it out and was messing with it and everything works good, so. Nice. Yeah, I can't believe I got it. I got a free GPS. That blows my mind. <laughs> I got the, the flyer for Cabela's came the other day and they had one in there, same exact thing. And it's like, yeah, it was, it was pretty spendy. So uh -huh. I was like, can't believe I just got a free one. So. <laughs> Right. Well, and that, that's not, that's how God works. He just, yeah, you know. Yeah, when you told me that, it was kind of like icing on a cake. I was like, right. I told my wife, my wife, babe, there's there's something going on here. I think we're supposed to do something. <laughs> I'm like, you just don't get a free three hundred dollars GPS and you know, all this other stuff and right. for you know discounted prices and everything or for free. And I'm like, I think we have a pretty good portfolio that we need to start doing something for God with this stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, right. I think you're right. <laughs> she goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. So, pretty pumped. <clears throat> well, you going know, to uh, catch church tonight? I am, tonight? yes. Sweet. Sweet. So, yeah. I got to... Uh, yeah, I got to place the order here pretty soon so we can get to church. So. <laughs> All right, man. Well. <laughs> yeah, find a restroom. <laughs> 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 Crazy. So, well, um, yeah, I'm just so happy to talk to you and see you. And I'm super excited to get out there next week. And likewise, yes. And, uh, see, what has, see what God has in store. Great. Yeah. So, should we finish this off with our usual sign off? Absolutely. All right. I love you. God loves you. Peace out. Peace. You guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up share it subscribe all that good stuff uh, if you do subscribe click that little bell so that way you'll get notified whenever we put out some uh, new content uh, be looking for new videos coming out regular basis in the next week or so uh, leading up to our hike be looking for that uh, thanks for watching and until next time this is Phil Fisher. I'm begging with you, pleading with you, get out there, enjoy God's country, enjoy the gift that he has given us, and just look for him in all of that. Until next time, peace.